back in the kitchen again. It is Monday the 26th of June and today I'm going to be making a nice tasty snack for, um, well let's see, people who have given up all added sugar but still want a nice sweet treat. So uh, if you've been reading my blog you'll probably know that um, I'm pregnant at the moment and uh, it's about 23 weeks now. So for the whole month of May, I've been uh, giving up all added sugars in food. Basically, if you read my blog or see my uh, Facebook page, you'll know that uh, I just overindulged a bit through April and um, I'm not really a sugar type person, but I just noticed the effect was, well, it was like a hangover really. So um, yeah, I, I'm doing a sugar-free May, but that does not include sugars in vegetables and in fruits. Okay, so some people might think that's cheating. I think it's basically not cutting out um, a, a wide range of uh, nutritious foods from my diet, so I'm keeping, keeping the fruits. So um, basically, I took inspiration from a friend who had um, done 40 days of Lent without sugar. And since then, I've actually heard from clients and friends who um, have also been uh, wanting to either cut back or cut out sugar, at least for a period of time. So. Um, here is a recipe which um, tastes like it has had sugar in it, but actually it doesn't need it and it's all just purely from fruit. So these are my banana G bars, which are based on uh, bulgur wheat and banana. So I'll just show you how to, how to do these. Okay, we're going to start off with, it's uh, dried weight, about 150 grams of bulgur wheat. So just cooked as per instruction on the package. So I am going to bun that into this mixing bowl here. Um, after that, I'm going to add to it, I think, 75 grams of um, oatmeal. So whack a bit of that in. From here, we have 50 grams of it's any any mixed dried fruit. You can you can choose whichever ones you want. If you favour a particular dried fruit, then well, by all means, be creative. So we're going to shove a bit of that in there, oh, still some in there, so that will give us some nice sweetness into, uh, into this snack. Now um, you can either use fig or date, but I thought date would go really well with banana, so I bought some um, dried dates which they weren't chopped before, I've chopped them now because I find it to be a bit more moist that way, so whack some of those in there, so it's 50 grams of dates. Also, I've got 75 grams of walnuts. Now, you can use any kind of mixed nuts, but because, again, it's my personal preference, date and walnut with banana, I thought went really well. So I'm not gonna add these just yet, because I like to, uh, we're gonna whiz this all up in a blender, you see, so I like to retain some bit more chunks. But if you had just other mixed nuts, I would just add those now as well. Okay, from here, we're going to, for the flavor, just slice up, these silicon spatulas are great, multi-purpose. Do all your chopping, mixing, spreading, things that you need to do when you're making a cake. So, two bananas in here. Now bananas are really great actually. Um, they've got loads of potassium in them and they're great if, if you're pregnant or if you suffer from sickness or um, fluid retention, they're really, really good. They're really mild on the stomach too. Okay, so a couple of bananas there. Now, what else have I got? Yep, I'm just gonna add, just for my own personal taste, a tiny bit of cinnamon. But you can add as much or as little as you like. You don't need to add anything at all if you don't want. And then a tiny bit of nutmeg. And if you want to add a bit of vanilla essence, you can, give it a vanilla -y flavor. Um, if you wanted to make these bars more high protein, I would suggest adding two scoops of a vanilla protein powder or a chocolate protein powder, or any flavour if, if you should choose. Um, I'm not going to add those today, um, just because I want to uh, maintain the banana flavour, but um, when I tell you the recipe for my brownies, I will be adding chocolate protein powder to those. They give it more of a chewy taste. This one, I want to keep it a bit more bready and I'm not using it for protein bar purposes right now, just for a nice healthy snack. So, uh, we have all those ingredients in, just to bind it a bit, just a nice big tablespoon of peanut butter in there as well. 
or any nut butter. Um, peanut butter, just make sure you don't go for the, you know, packaged fake artificial rubbish. This is um, whole earth, organic, and it's got no added sugar, no palm oil, no salt, added salt. Okay, just pure peanuts. Okay, and then here's a big glug, about 75 mils. Um, you can measure it out if you want, I've just a, like a glug of hemp oil in there. Now you can use rapeseed, flaxseed, brown nut oil if you want, okay? It's just to give it that good fat and the omegas and also just to bind it a little bit as well. So, I'm just going to stir those ingredients together. And just for a little moisture, you can add a drop of Feel it needs it, you can add just a drop of milk, uh, rice milk. Oops, <laughs> nearly went everywhere there. Nearly, ne nearly didn't have that all in one take. Okay, um, you can use rice milk, almond milk, uh, coconut milk. Um, stay away from soy milk though, um, it's just basically one of the worst foods you can eat. So, anyway, I've, I've had articles in a blog on that, so um, I won't go there right now. Okay, by the way, I forgot to mention we've got our oven preheated to 140. Uh, and that's a low enough temperature to cook it through but without burning it or crisping it on top, just giving it a nice even, even cooking all the way through. Okay, so I'm going to take my walnuts and just go over here to the blender and just whiz this lot up. I don't know if you can still see me actually in the frame, but I'm just uh, decanting all of this into a blender and you probably won't hear me in a minute which some of you might think is a good thing I'm just going to whack it out and blend it all and get the lid on that is okay here we go consistency you like, some people like it smooth, smoother, some people with a few more chunks in. Now adding the walnuts. Just give these a few seconds in there. in a little bit of milk or a bit more oil um, if you prefer. So right now I'm just going to blend, dollop this into a square cake tin. Um, I've got one of these silicon baking trays. If you're using a tin, best to put a parchment or greaseproof paper down it from sticking so you can just pop the loaf out when you finish. Um, but these silicon trays are fantastic, they wash really well. You don't need any parchment or need any greasing or anything too fussy. So that should just be nice and gloopy and claggy and peanut butter like in texture. So all we need to do is just spend a few minutes spreading this out nice and even into your tray and then when you're ready just whack it in the oven uh, depending on you know how hot the oven is fan assisted or whatever or how much of a um, how done you like them really 35 to 40 minutes it should be cooked through then you just want to just leave them to cool on a, on a wire tray and once they're sort of lukewarm at least to touch you. We have to turn them out, chop them into slices. Now this would usually make about nine nine pieces. So 
Um, yeah, I hope that you uh, enjoy these. You find them sweet enough to satisfy that sweet tooth. And uh, if you want other variations on this recipe, um, I have done a video for brownies before quinoa brownies. I've now improved these, so these are rather than bulk of wheat, we have quinoa and we have figs, so about eight chopped figs in some dates, but you can use dates if you want. And uh, five massive teaspoons, uh, sorry, not teaspoons, that'll be no good, massive tablespoons of cocoa powder, and uh, obviously you need a little more milk. And I, I've just thrown in some dried cranberries, and then I put my two big scoops of, um, of chocolate whey protein in there as well. So um, yeah, I'll, I'll post the recipe anyway for that as well. I'll post the recipe for this, and um, I hope you enjoy it. Good luck with your sugar-free May, June, July, or whatever month you, you decide to do of your lifetime. I don't know, it's up to you. Anyway, take care.